Hey, my wonderful stars! Happy Halloween! Let's all go back to the very previous part where we remember from my Yandere series, yeah? So, ever since you were conscious from that hit by your so called friend slash Yandere, you woke up in her basement in a confusing way, and she was happy that you were awake. She has spoken to you about a lot of things that she wants to do with you, but somehow you didn't feel very comfortable with how she interacted with you. You try to tell her that you don't want to be with her and you don't want to stay with her at her house for the rest of your life, but had no choice but to stay with her. Two weeks later, you still spend time with her and pretend to be happy as well. So you had a plan on escaping her home before she realizes that you were gone and thinking about escaping her home. Then that moment when you pretended to wash your face after watching a movie with her, you went to the bedroom instead. When you started to unlock the window, she caught you while you were tempting on escaping. She was furious when you lied to her the whole time, so she began to teach you a lesson. Due to the punishment that she has given you, you felt very painful when she hurt you with her weapon called the Yandere Whip. After getting lashes on your body, she has planned on patching you up the next day forward, and you agreed, but still wasn't sure about it. But you got over it while sleeping it off. The next day, she woke you up and had to take care of your injuries. You didn't like the way she passed you up after that incident. You went to the restroom and called for help from your cindery best friend. She asked you where you were, told her the location, and managed to tell her what happened between you and your yandere girlfriend. Before you waited, you went back downstairs and your yandere girlfriend felt suspicious about you taking long upstairs until she figured out what you were doing. Quite frankly, you never wanted to stay with her at first after what she has done to you for two weeks until you said that you don't love her anymore, that she's a crazy person to be around and a psychopath. Luckily, your cindere best friend arrived inside the house and stopped your yandere girlfriend and saved you. After that, the police arrived and arrested her for good. Last but not least, you began to hang out with your Cinderella best friend. After that happened, until something caught up with your ex Yandere girlfriend now. She has plans to break out of jail and she wishes that she will return to you once again. And now, the moment you all been waiting for is the haunted house of the ex Yandere girlfriend, also known as Ex Yandere Girlfriend Returns. Well, you finally came. It's been so long, my sweet love. I've missed you. <laughs> Aww, you really thought I would stay in that crazy place with lots of men and women? Come on, I'm not like that. Now when I'm with you, of course. again with the same situation that happened three years ago. <laughs> Darling, do you really want me to go down that path with rage? All because of what your so-called new girlfriend has done to ruin our moment? together, we were so close of being together once again. But ever since she showed up, she ruined everything from us. I have been 
waiting for this moment for so long, and you just have to reject me like that? Why, my love? Why would you do this to me? After all, we've been through it together. <sighs> oh, so you think I'm really obsessed with men, huh? But darling, I have you now. And why would I do such a thing? Just to kill innocent people that I'm jealous of? That's not true. I am normal. I just don't have anyone to be friends with since all the men rejected. During the day, on field trips, dance parties, and most importantly, bro! But when you showed up in my life, I was so, so happy to be your friend. After years passed, you never once told me how crazy I was when we first hung out together. Even the part when I asked you out for the first time ever. I was nervous, but I got over it. You helped me live. You even helped me to become someone I always wanted to be. It was always you, all the way to the end of time. Still, it doesn't matter what I do. At the end of the day, you're always gonna be mine. My love, and my only love. No one else but you. Do you understand? I want to be with you. You have always been on my mind for so long. And when we got separated, I was very emotional and depressed. So when I tried to find someone else, they rejected me from my confession. I had no choice but to kill them. Well, it will be solved once I am finished with what I've started. You are finally mine now, my sweet love. And no one, not even your new girlfriend, will come and save your life. Now, let's have our moments that we haven't finished back in my old home. Lovely, why does it have to end like this? It hurts so much to have you stepping away from me. I'm not trying to hurt you, my sweet love. I just want to stay with you forever. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, and what exactly do I really need, my sweet love? help. I don't need any help from those people who tries to calm other people down with their problems. Not after what happened when I was in jail for three long years. Oh, so now you want to hear my story when I got the chance to escape out of jail. All right, my sweet love, I'll tell you what really happened. Follow me. Fine, I'll scooch over like this. Anyway, let's get to the story. So, it was the third year of being stuck in jail. I have came up with a crazy plan, but it was good for me anyways. When I woke up from my nap, it was 8.45 in the evening. The police officers were just chatting. I slowly grabbed my knife and had to pretend I cut my hand. The moment I did it, one of the policemen came and opened the cell and asked me if I was okay. But then, I started to grin and began to slice down his throat. And the rest of them grabbed their guns out and pointed straight at me until I began to throw the ball that was filled with smoke, which I like to call smoke of sleepiness. I know, right? So when I finished resting, the rest of them. I ran off the halls, grabbed the keys to the entrance, and finally jumped off the fences, and finally got out of there. I was home free at last. 
Yep, smart, right? I get to finally see you again, my sweet love. Oh, how did I find this haunted house and lived here? Well, that's easy to explain, my darling. When I walked around the neighborhood on a cold and stormy night, I saw a huge mansion on the other side of the gates. I went inside and looked around. It was the most amazing place I have ever seen in my life. So I made an official request to have this haunted house as my brand new home. Why aren't you happy about it, lovely? At least I'm not dead. When I was stuck in that stupid jail cell. Ugh. But now that you're here with me once more, there's nothing to keep us apart. You are mine forever and ever, in my new home, and you're not gonna escape here this time. <laughs> and I think I know exactly how to make you stay, so that way you will love me and care enough for me in my heart. <sighs> over? No, my sweet love, it's never over. It was never over from the start of our relationship. It is not like you have a choice. No one is it going to find us anyways. We are far, far away from the city that we live in. Either you stay with me and do everything I say, or there's something that I really don't want to try to do to you. That is vital and no further questions or concerns. I said that's vital and no further questions or concerns. Sweet love, I think it's time for you to do something for me. <laughs> it's very simple. All you gotta do is this. Get on your knees, my love. I said get on your knees! or I'll push you down myself to the floor. <laughs> That's my darling. Now, here's what I want you to do. You're gonna tell me that I am your yandere lover and you will love me forever. Enough! And do as I command, lovely. Say it louder, my sweet love. I can't hear you. <laughs> Good boy. Now that this is settled, I have one more thing for you to do. Kiss your beloved Yandere, my sweet love. Come on. You know you miss kissing me. After all, I enjoy your kisses so much that I will never stop thinking about it. <laughs> what? You said that you don't want to kiss me? <laughs> oh, all right, my dear. There is something that I never showed you. <laughs> I have warned you Many times when I get mad, things will get ugly! And you, my sweet love, uh, will never, ever get away from your darling yandere! It's obvious, my love, I am your yandere lover, and this day forward,
Why? You don't remember? You're the one who came here because you thought I wasn't around. But look at me now. I am here. Did your dream feel real? I almost killed you in my scary form? Oh, my poor sweet love. I didn't mean to scare you off like that. Aw, what's wrong with me dragging you into my new home, hmm? You're only here because you forced yourself to be here and explore the whole place. Well, tough, my sweet love. You belong to me, and only me. Now I know that nobody around in the neighborhood won't find you this time. And so sad that you won't see your new girlfriend anymore. <laughs> And forgive me to ask, but why did you pick her instead of me? Don't you just miss me? Oh, oh she's more special than me? Oh yeah, she is so very special to you. What's really so special about her anyways? What is something that she has for you that I don't have? Raise your voice at me like that. I am your girlfriend now. Not that so-called Cinderella girlfriend. She means nothing to you. I am yours. She is trying to steal you away from me. Don't you see? <sighs> oh, my sweet love. Looks like you've gotten too far now. This ends now! Oh, you'll see, my love. Now. Stop struggling right now, lovely. It will make things worse if you keep this up. Don't you dare stare at me like that, my sweet love. You never listen to me. Not even once. I just want you to be with me forever. So your lovey-dovey Cinderella girlfriend will never come save you. I know you're upset, but I have gotten you chance by chance by chance. And yet, you still won't listen to everything I say or do. All you gotta do is love me. And nobody has ever wanted to be away from me for so long, darling. Nobody! Do not worry about that, lovely. I will be back with my precious little materials that I will be serving you. <laughs> this will be fun. doing, lovely? Trying to escape again? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you, my sweet love. Oh, so that's it, huh? That's what you really want? After all these years of our friendship, me confessing my feelings to you, spending time with you, and doing my hardest to be together with you, and this is what I get?! <laughs> Alright, my sweet love. 
have it your way then. I think it's time for you to see my bloodlust rage. This is a warning, my dear. Never test the Yandere lover. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you know what happened last time. You tried to escape my home when I had my gun pointed behind you. Don't you try that again now. <gasps> oh, oh, no, no, no. Baby, please. You, you, you don't have to shoot me with my own gun, right? <laughs> Your own trap of love? So you mean to tell me the whole time, after all these years, you've tricked me? No. No, my sweet love. Don't you dare shoot! No. Please. Please! Still alive, my dear. I have my ways. My... Oh no, the transformation is happening right now. It hurts. It hurts. I can't hold it much longer. <laughs> ah, much better, my darling, my love, you are now mine! I have no choice but to let you go. 
You're free now. Yes. Nice.